So friends, today we want to understand how to create an array of objects. So let's get started. This is my first project, array objects. I have a source folder. I'm creating a new class here. And this class name will be ball. I want to create a ball class. And this will not contain a main method. So we'll just put finish. Okay, I have already created this class so I can paste it. You can understand this is my ball class. It is a public class, of course. It has only one variable, which is a private string color. Depending on the ball, we'll give a color, red color, green color, black colors, okay? So this is a default constructor, friends. A constructor does not have a return type. So uh, then you can see it's a public ball. This is a constructor, and by default, the color is black. Now this is a parameterized constructor. So if I want to create a ball with specific color then also I can create I'll pass a color okay this will come from main so I'll send a color from main and this ball will be created this C will be given to color so this C is going to this color so color is equal to C and now last is a method which is a very simple method white display ball actually it will tell me the details of the color of ball so this is the ball color is plus color so whatever this C we have passed it will be stored in this color and that we are printing here okay so let's see an example so as you can see this is my ball dot Java I'll create right click on package new and I'll create my application class let's call that class as a game game app okay this game app class has a main method now let's put finish okay so now this is my main method now this both are in same package so I can create a ball object here so ball B is equal to new ball for example okay now this is my ball B I can call it B1 this is my first object created I can create ball B2 also now now I'm calling a second constructor with color so this both constructors are there right so this is a default constructor and this is a parameter constructor which I'm calling okay now I can use b1 object b1 dot now you can put display ball and now b2 dot display ball so this is a simple program which is showing that we are creating two ball objects and we are printing their information let's run it okay now you can see the output here first ball color is black this is b1 the default color is given to this and ball color is red which is this color okay and so now let's understand how to create the array of objects let's start we'll delete this now suppose i want to create an object or i want to create an array of five balls so i'll write ball now the name of object will always create like this let's call it a list is equal to new ball okay now understand friends this line is used for creating an array so list is an array as you remember in java we don't write a size here okay so ball list this is an array name new ball 5 please remember we haven't called a constructor here so this will not create objects here we are not creating objects okay but what we have created we have created an array which will hold ball objects okay which will hold ball objects right now it is not holding any object you can call this is just an array of reference okay it's just an array of reference okay so now now let's create objects first for example list and now I want to create the first object so I can write down list 0 is equal to now the only point is we know that this list array which is here is going to hold the object of ball type okay so all the object must be of ball type so I'll write down here new ball for example I can write a color as a red so this is my first element in array now I can put second element also uh, list one I'm giving a color as a uh, gray and I'm putting a last element here 
sorry last uh, sorry two not last it's a now it's again red now I can create a third element it is also red and element number four which is the fifth element actually so zero one two three four and I call it a uh, blue okay so these are the balls so you can see we have created five objects here okay now let's see if we want to print them so I can use a for loop definitely and I equal to zero I less than five I plus plus now we can use a list now you can put I here so every list of I is a ball object okay every list of I is ball object you can put dot now display ball so now it's going to call display ball method on each and every ball okay now we know that every list here holds a ball object so we can call let's run it now you can see the output here red gray red red and blue fine okay now you can do some silly mistake here just to check so let's say we have not created this object okay now you understand that list 0 has an object list 1 has an object so list 2 doesn't have any object okay so now third element is empty actually now when you call a display ball method on this object because this loop is going to rotate on all the objects so this line will throw exception of course because it's going to happen runtime so let's understand that exception and you can check okay so now you can understand null pointer exception is thrown because this list to reference is not referencing anywhere so that is okay friends so this is how we use the array of objects in, in java thank you